Hello, hello, welcome back to The Craft Scraps. I am Lauren and today we are gonna be doing some super cute and easy DIY bridesmaid gifts. Of course, if you are not doing anything wedding related, you could totally just make these for yourself or gifts for anybody, really. I think these are super cute, super affordable. I'm going to be making this cute little like bride squad jewelry dish. So these are from Amazon. I think I mentioned in the video that I'm pretty sure on Amazon these are sold as like sauce ramekins, but I thought this was like perfect for a jewelry dish. So that, and then the second gift I'm going to be doing is a cropped hoodie. So if you've already seen my video on the bride sweat set, this is very similar and I just love how it's like a little detail. It's like nothing crazy. So hopefully this can get worn more than once. So for each of these, I go through start to finish, how to design them, how to cut, apply, all that good stuff. So for the jewelry dish, I'm using the gold metallic vinyl that I also use in the tumblers. I will link it below. And then for the sweatshirt, I'm just using plain Caesar Easy Weed HTV. Both of these I've gotten from Auntie Tay, um, Shop Auntie Tay. Of course, you can use my code, the Craft Scraps, and I think that's it. For the sweatshirt, I'm going to be using my mini press, but of course, you can use an iron or an easy press or any other heat press that you have. And then for the jewelry dish, I'm going to be using my Expressions Masking Transfer Tape. And I think that's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a video from me again. And I think that's it. I'm so happy to be back with you guys. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so for the two bridesmaids gifts I'm going to be making, I'm going to be making one for a maid of honor and then one for, it could be maid of honor or bridesmaid or whatever. So the Maid of Honor SVG, it, well, both of these are from Auntie Tay, but um, of course you could just write these out if you want or, you know, do whatever. Um, this is just an idea for you guys. So this is going to be going on a sweatshirt and then this is going to be going in a cute little jewelry dish that I will show you on the screen. It's so freaking cute. For the Bride Squad, I'm going to be cutting this out of gold metallic vinyl. It is stunning. And I want to change the color of this so my Cricut knows that it's going to be cut out of a different color than the Maid of Honor here. So to do that, I'm just going to click here, come up here to the color palette, and choose one of these colors. So this is the closest to gold, so I'll change it to this golden yellow. And then this one I will click on and I'm going to change this to white. I'm going to cut this out of white HTV. All right, so now we're basically done. All we have to do is size these. So for the hoodie, I want this to be really small and delicate, just kind of in like the left where there would be maybe like a pocket. So I'm just going to make it about three and a half inches. And then this, the, the jewelry dish I have is teeny, teeny, tiny. So I'm going to make this small. So to size these, you're going to want to make sure you unlock here so then you can manipulate the SVG however you want it. So for this, I'm making it literally like almost less than an inch. The inside of these dishes are teeny, teeny, tiny. And so now we're basically good to go. We can come over here to make it. So our design space can find our machine. You can see we have our two mats here. For our metallic vinyl, I'm gonna come over here to change my settings, and I'm gonna be changing my settings to metallic vinyl. So now I can switch you guys over to the camera so you can see how we're going to make it. All right, so for my first little bridesmaid craft, I am going to make these little jewelry dishes and I'm going to be using this 
gold metallic vinyl to cut the design for the inside. I thought these were so stinking cute and I'm pretty sure these were sold on Amazon as um, like little sauce thingies, um, ramekins, but I thought this would be a perfect jewelry dish. So this is going to be our first cute little bridesmaid gift. All right, so to get started, I'm just going to put my metallic vinyl on my mat, move my machine out a little bit. All right, so I'm going to load my mat. And when my Cricut light starts blinking like it just did, we can cut. Alright, so we can now unload our mat and take our vinyl off the mat. Alright, and so you can see it cut out our little SVG there. So now we are going to weed out the rest of this vinyl. So how I like to do this is I'm just going to pull up a corner and then just peel away, keeping my weeding tool handy in case I need it to help me. With these little intricate designs, sometimes you kind of have to like hold down a little piece so it doesn't rip it away. All right, so we have our Bride Squad SVG done. Now I'm just gonna go back in and get these little teeny tiny middle parts out. All right, so now I'm gonna take my transfer tape. I'm using the Expressions Vinyl Transfer Tape. This is the masking transfer tape from Auntie Tay, but of course you can find this anywhere else. Um, that's just where I get mine from. So I'm just going to peel off a piece. All right, that looks, I mean, it's not the exact shape, but it will work for the purposes of this. So I'm just going to place my transfer tape on top. And then I'm just gonna flip it over and peel off the backing. I like to do it this way instead of like peeling the transfer tape off. I just feel like it is a little bit easier. All right, so you can see that, sorry, the camera like will not focus on this because it's so shiny, but you can see that the, that the SVG is now on our transfer tape. So now we can take our dish and I'm just going to place it into the center. And the scraper actually will fit in here, but I'm just going to use my fingers to like first get it adhered. And then we can just peel off our transfer tape. So I like to kind of peel and press and you're just going to have to be careful with some of these. If you're doing like a really skinny SVG like this, I like to kind of peel and press. All right. And so we have our super cute first little bridesmaid gift. How adorable is that? So stinking cute. I kind of want to keep it in for myself. <laughs> this metallic gold vinyl is just, oh my God, so Ready for the second bridesmaids gifts. I'm gonna be doing this cute little hoodie or no, it's not a hoodie. It's like a crop sweatshirt. I thought it was so cute, and I have a full tutorial on how to do um, the a bride sweat set and bridesmaid 
joggers. So feel free to check those out. I'll link them up above and in the description below. And so I'm going to do a maid of honor cropped hoodie. So I'm going to put maid of honor here just because I think it's like minimalist and I think it would look super cute. So I'm going to move this to the side for now. And for this, I'm using this, um, oop, there's gold on it, um, regular Caesar Easy Weed white vinyl, or I'm sorry, white HTV. So a couple of things with this HTV, you want to make sure that the shiny side is face down and that you turn mirror on in design space, which I will show you how in just a second. So our design is going to be cut out backwards. And then when we're ready to apply, we'll flip it over, iron, and we'll be good to go. For the maid of honor, since this is going to be cut out of HTV, I want to be sure to mirror this. And then the bride squad in the metallic vinyl, we don't have to mirror it because it's just regular vinyl. So I'm going to hit continue, it'll find our machine here. And so for the HTV, I'm just going to be cutting it out of everyday iron on. So I'm going to bring out my machine, can insert it into our Cricut and we can cut. All right, so we can unload our mat. Move our machine out of the way for now. Okay, so this HTV that I'm about to weed is super delicate. So now we want to have our design left so we can iron it on. So we're gonna weed out or get rid of all of the excess HTV. Oop. So I just like to pick up a corner just kind of pull it away like I said this SVG is super delicate but usually working with HTV as opposed to vinyl is way easier than if this were if I was cutting this out of vinyl okay so we have our Maid of Honor SVG, so dainty and pretty, I'm obsessed. All right, so now we can do our sweatshirt. So I'm using this Wild Fable sweatshirt from Target, it was 15 bucks. It might have been on sale, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna put this on the right like corner so I'm just going to heat up the area real quick. And then I can place my SVG. I want it kind of here. And so I know it looks far over, but I don't want it to be so close to the seam. I want it to be like kind of like where like a right side pocket would be. All right, and so Cricut says you don't have to use parchment paper, but I like to use parchment paper just to protect the material. So I'm going to put a piece of parchment paper over it, and I'm using my mini press. You could use a heat press if you want, or an iron would absolutely work. Um, I'm using this just because it's so small. This works out nicely. All right, so I'm just going to start by pressing down, giving it good pressure, moving it around a little bit, but really making sure to give it good pressure. And especially because this is so dainty, I really don't want it to like pull up anywhere. So I'm just holding, pressing, all right, so now that we have that down, we can now pull up our carrier sheet. A 
Look how cute that is. I'll zoom out so you guys can see, get a better idea. So you guys can like kind of get the idea here. How cute is that? It's just like simple, cute. So she can like maybe wear this after she's done being a maid of honor. It's not so like maid of honor, bridesmaid in your face. So cute. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed these two bridesmaid gift ideas. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, happy crafting.